I'm Peter Block in Chicago at ACC 16, and with me is Eva Lon from McMaster University. Eva has been involved with the HOPE trial. The HOPE trial may be, arguably, perhaps the most important trial to come out of this meeting. So I have this real opportunity to talk to Eva about this. Eva, tell me about the HOPE trial. I know it's a complex trial. There's a lot of stuff. Right. So give me a short version. Okay, I'll try, Peter, and thanks for acknowledging the importance of this trial. First of all, we studied people at intermediate risk, meaning people who never had previous myocardial infarction, stroke, or other cardiovascular events. We studied an ethnically diverse population. In fact, 80% of the study participants were from low- and middle-income countries, and this hasn't been done before very much, especially for statins. The trial looked at prevention, primary prevention, and we evaluated the effect on two of the major risk factors, blood pressure and cholesterol. We, used, we had a blood pressure lowering arm in the trial, which used condesart and combined with hydrochlorothiazide as a fixed dose combination, and we used rosuvastatin for cholesterol lowering. In addition, we pre-specified the comparison of participants who received both active therapies, that means blood pressure lowering therapy and statin therapy, versus those who were randomized to double placebo. And this is a test of what we call the polypill concept. It wasn't a polypill per se, but it's a polypill concept. Okay, so a very complex trial, but nonetheless an important one. So if you can summarize what you found, because I know there's sort of two major endpoints here. Definitely. We had a number of outcomes, but I'll try to summarize it to go really to, the, to what is the most important. For blood pressure lowering, we found overall no treatment benefit. The average blood pressure at randomization was 138 over 82 millimeters of mercury, so in the high normal range. However, in a pre-specified subgroup analysis, people in the upper third of baseline systolic blood pressure, meaning above about 143 millimeters of mercury, did derive benefit. And the benefit was what you would expect based on other studies in the literature, about 25-27% relative risk reduction. Now, while it is a subgroup analysis, it was very consistent amongst various outcomes. So the, let me interrupt to say the short version being if you have high blood pressure, greater than 145, then probably you will derive benefit in heart outcomes from Absolutely. therapy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And whether it's 145 or 140, it's a bit debatable. But if you are in the range of mild, uncomplicated hypertension, you will derive benefit. But you really saw benefit in the combination outcome groups, didn't you? Well, to start, let's first go to rosuvastatin, so-called LDL cholesterol lowering. We saw a remarkable consistency in reducing heart events. So uh, heart events were reduced in men, in women, independent of baseline LDL, independent of CRP. So very, very clear benefit of statin independent of blood pressure, and I think this reinforces the message that people at intermediate risk should be treated with a statin. Many of us do that already, but it reinforces this message. And for the first time, some populations which had been studied before in China and in other places of the world showed very similar benefit. So uh, now, give me the short version then of how you think this is going to translate into the clinic. This is an important right. trial. I think people are going to immediately put this trial to use. What do you propose for the clinicians out there? Okay. So, uh, just to go back one minute, if you allow me, in the combination there okay. was benefit. But most of the benefit was derived from LDL cholesterol lowering, from statin, except again for the upper third of systolic blood pressure. Those people with mild hypertension who derived benefit from both therapies. Okay. So now taking it to the office, I will do, I think, what I did before, but now I'll have reinforcement for that. So I will treat people who have mild and complicated hypertension. And what we used, I will treat them with a gentle regimen like we use. The blood pressure lowering wasn't extreme as it was in sprint, but there were very few side effects and there was benefit. So people with blood pressure over 140 systolic, I will treat with a regimen similar to what we used or equivalent. For intermediate risk people, I will give everybody a statin because it was not only very effective but remarkably safe. 
I can't say it any better. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.